Hey guys, TJ here, and today we're going to be talking about Star Wars Episode 8, The Last Jedi. I would say this is a mixture of Empire Strikes Back and... You know what? No, I, I don't know. I really don't know. Star Wars The Last Jedi is directed by Ryan Johnson. Uh, this is the eighth film in the mainline Star Wars franchise. It's the sequel to 2015's The Force Awakens film, which was directed by J.J. Abrams. I'm just gonna go ahead and say it. This is going to definitely be the most divisive Star Wars film ever made. This is like a direct response to the people that said The Force Awakens um, was not original enough, that it just treaded episode four over again. Well, this is, here's your answer. This is the first Star Wars film that actually takes place right after the last one ended. And the First Order is after the Resistance. I'm not gonna give you any more details about this movie at all. All I'm gonna say is, it is different. And when I say different, I mean, the story is different, the editing is different, and the way they shoot the film is completely different. And while the action in this film has been stepped up from what it was in The Force Awakens, it's still on a kind of a different trajectory than how you may expect it to go. This is definitely the most ambitious and will surely be the most divisive Star Wars film ever made. At least until the next one comes out and I'm completely wrong. This film has epic action sequences, great performances all around, and just enough fan service to satiate the fans of Star Wars. For years I was trying to figure out where they were going to go after The Force Awakens, and after seeing this film, I have even more questions about where they're gonna go. So some of Ryan Johnson's past films uh, were Brick and Looper, the sci-fi film with Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Bruce Willis, remember that? Interesting pick for Star Wars, and I definitely think that it's something that, that actually paid off for them. I mean, you could just clearly tell that this is a distinct director's voice coming through Star Wars. I don't think there's been any other director that has actually really had his voice come through a film like this one. But in this film, I wasn't really sure what was gonna happen in the next scene. Like they were taking very big risk and uh, for some people they don't pay off, but for me, I actually enjoyed it. This film breaks so many Star Wars conventions that, you know, were like, you know, hallmarks of the franchise. And other people may not care about this or really pay much attention to it, but the editing style of this film is completely different than any of the other Star Wars films. Honestly, it's it's good that they're kind of veering off into uncharted waters because after seven films and TV series and all these things, you kind of are expecting what's gonna happen and what ways they happen. This film doesn't do that whatsoever. Like as of the recording of this video, I've just seen the movie. So those thoughts obviously are probably going to develop and change as time goes on. But after seeing it the first time, I would say that this is a bold new direction um, that pays off for uh, future uh, avenues and future uh, story possibilities. Like it just is different and that is good. But one thing I'm kind of not a fan of for this film is that they still have some of the humor cutting into dramatic elements. I mean there are times when it's you know it's fine to have some humor but some scenes just shouldn't have humor. It's really just the Disney era Force Awaken effects, um, you know, inserting itself into the Star Wars story. I mean, it has to be Disney because it feels like it's like Marvel-esque jokes that appear sometimes. I'm fine with them sometimes, but other times I feel like the drama just needs to, to take precedence over any elements of humor. If you read or watched any reviews so far, um, you probably have heard this, but there is a sequence in the film uh, that does drag and does feel out of place. Like this film is two and a half hours long and that half hour is really filled with like an extra side uh, mission slash objective that I feel could have been like trimmed a little bit and the story would have just picked up that much faster. Mark Hamill coming back as Luke Skywalker was definitely the highlight of this film. When I think The Last Jedi, I'm going to remember Luke Skywalker. Like that's going to be the thing that I remember for this film. And the new direction that this film gets is just like it's a breath of fresh air for Star Wars. I really think that it was a good decision uh, to go in such a drastically different direction than most people were expecting expecting, only because if they're gonna give us a Star Wars film every single year, I want something new. I don't want that predictability. We knew what was gonna happen in the prequels because it's a prequel. And we know what's gonna happen in Rogue One because we know how the original Star Wars trilogy happens. So this is truly the first time that a Star Wars film has surprised me to the point that I don't know where they're gonna go next, but I'm very intrigued to see what happens next. And I can't end this without talking about John Williams' score because as we know, he does all of the music 
uh, for Star Wars with the exception of the Rogue One. And I would say that this film, while it is well composed, it doesn't break any new ground for Star Wars. It kind of just feels like an extension of The Force Awakens. And by that I mean there's no really significant new track or, or song that is added into the Star Wars mythos that you, know, you, know, you may expect from uh, other past entries. And while this may be the most unconventional and divisive Star Wars film of all time, it is still a very good film. Uh, Ryan Johnson definitely went for something new and I really appreciated that, especially because Star Wars can seem formulaic at times. Uh, it's great to see them trying something new in terms of the plot and I'm very excited to see where this is taken next. I would say Star Wars The Last Jedi is a go. If you wanted to talk about spoilers, I'm going to have another video coming out right after this uh, that just goes into me talking about the spoilers because I just really want to talk about this and get this off my chest. Um, you can watch that after you've seen the movie. Uh, but for right now, this is going to be it. Hope you like the video. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe right here if you want to see more. And I'll see you on the next one.